Oh, well, fans, here on WCW Prime, we bring you something that no other WCW program brings you, and that, and that is the WCW Prime Cut Match of the Week. And, Dusty, you just love introducing two young, up-and-coming wrestlers. Let me tell you something. I really like to see these guys that are really going after. We're going to see two of the young lines, two guys trying to make it to the top, two guys putting an all-out effort right here on Prime in this Prime Cut Match of the Week. So I'm going to tell you what, I'm proud of them. And I love new talent. And I love guys trying to make it to the top. And all the cows out there, prime cut cattle, love it. So let's give them a big send-off right here on the prime this week, fans, in the moon match of the week. Take a breath, Dusty. From that moon. Well, you know, we talked about young athletes now. A lot of people going to say, well, Tim Hunter's not a young athlete, but he's one that's on the rise back in WCW. Regional title hold on several occasions. Yep. Mark Starr now meets Tim Hunter. Maybe a little more experience, but what makes this a great matchup is the evenly match. Both of them are, are, are knowledgeable of wrestling, and Tim Hunter coming back to WCW. Now they can make his mark once again to move back up that ladder. Yes, they are not... Tim Hunter is not the younger of the two, experience of the two, but what I mean by young athletes in WCW, this is going to be a great matchup right here because I guarantee you one thing, Mark Starr really is looking for a victory, a feather in his cap, if you will. Mark Starr about six foot two, six there feet, a go. good shake of the hands, we may see finally a scientific match here in World Championship Wrestling, the collar and elbow tie-up, and Starr backs right off. Well, I don't know about scientific, I guarantee you that, that uh, uh, Timbers will ball, and when Timbers start to to brew in that anything can happen in this situation right here. And a snap there, and Tim Horner, who is slow, methodical, but very experienced. Good. One, doesn't have a whole lot of flash, a whole lot of sizzle, but he can back it up. I will give you a little trivia here. Yes. Okay, in the 70s, late 70s, early 80s. I Tim think I know Hunter, where you're going. I Tim think I know. tag team champions, Georgia, yep. heavyweight tag team champion. Who was his partner? They were white lightning. Who was his partner? Tommy Rich. No, man. One, two, three, four. You missed it. It was Brad Armstrong. Yeah, right. It was. Yeah, well, Brad you were Armstrong. wrong. Let's watch this. Let me ask right you here. another question. Right here, got an arm twist on him. What major star did Tim Horner pin what in the 1980s? In the 1980s, he pinned the Nature Boy Ric Flair. I didn't realize he pinned the Nature Boy Ric Flair. Well, you should have known that. Look in my book. I'm writing. I would. <laughs> All right, right there. Big hip toss. One. Well, I was talking about Road Warrior Hawk. You see right here, Tim Hunter, they, they really jock in for position. You know what I mean? Yes, they are. They jock in for position right here. Back it, to the collar It might have been Hawk. I, I might have been in a daze back then. It was Hawk. I thought it was Flair. No, it was me, Tim Flair. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Would you cut it out? All right, we're back. We're back to action here on WCW. You're just so pleased with yourself right now, aren't you? I tell you what, this prime, I mean, we're just really going all over the country, and me and Bowtie, Chris Cruz, are going all over the country with Prime, and our lovely producer, Diane, and all the production staff and the production facility that Prime is making this one of the greatest and hottest shows on television because we bring matches like this to you, the best right here on Prime. You see Horn and them, they jockey it for position now. One, I'm trying to see which one makes a mistake, and I believe it's going to be a quick win. I don't believe it's going to be a beating down of somebody. It's got to be a quick move, quick hold, some submission, maybe a one quick small package, and something will happen here that, that takes this thing right here. A little test of streak is... Mark Starr, the stronger of the two. And a respectful crowd here watching and enjoying this display of scientific wrestling ability. One, it's one thing to be able to just uh, punch a guy. Anybody can do that. One, two, a kick out there by Mark Starr. You know, you, you keep talking about our producer, Diane, but you never say your last name. You know why? Because you can't pronounce it. Not only that, you don't even know it. You can't pronounce Diane's last name. Well, the bottom line is we on first name basis, and that's where you're not... Anyway, driving Mark Starr back in there. Right now, let's see what happens. There you go. See, that was legal, but he got him in the corner, and you see that's the experience of Tim Horner. That Horner moves in, and Starr. Here we go. He rolls him up. This is going to do it. One, two, go. Very quickly. And, and then inside small package. cradle, the small package. One, two, three, no. Again. They both went for it right there. Trying to roll him up. Got it twisted on him right there. Oh, what's he doing? He hooks up. Yes, right that's All it. right. Wow, what a victory for Mark Starr. What a move. We said it'd be quick. What a great move. Wow, well, Mark Starr, this may signal the beginning of a real big career for this 
a newcomer here in World Championship Wrestling. A great match between these two individuals and a shake of the hand all around. Well, I guarantee you could have went either way in the next match. Maybe when they're back against each other, it could go either way. Bottom line is, right here on WCW Prime, we've seen a new star on the horizon. Right here on the Prime Cut, Prime Slow Mo, if you will. Prime Replay, if you will. Right there, the hip toss came up, caught him right here on a roll up, but look the way he blocked this thing, Chris. Got him blocked right there, then Hunter goes to roll him over, but he hooks him up, and he gets the one, two, three. Great victory. And we're back in a moment with a word about next week's exciting WCW Prime. All right, fans, that wraps it up for this week's edition of WCW Prime, and next week I'm going to be wearing that beautiful red leather jacket. Am I not? Chris Cruz, <laughs> I love you, man. Would you tell me who you think is going to win the war game? Come on. I, I don't, I don't well, I know. Uh, I understand who's going to win it, and I'm telling you, Hulkamania now has got new vision, new life, has turned his sails and set for the wide open spaces because the Lugas, the Taskmasters, the Jaws of the Shop, all of them cannot stop Hawkamania because I was at his joint on the next day televised operation. I eat Pastamania. I have lost 200 pounds. As you see, I'm ready. You see, he had no. Yes, I said, yeah, This is right. Prime, the best show on television. I love you, Chris. All right, next week, Alex Wright, the renegade, Dave Sullivan, and Kurosawa, and a whole lot more for the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. I'm Chris Cruz. We'll see you next week on WCW Prime.